Good evening and welcome. We'll call the meeting to order. First order of business is to have an indication of pledge allegiance to the flag, and I'll ask Karen Benson to do that. Please, Karen. This file reads: Do you have a pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America? I do. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to come together and review the cases that will be put presented before us today. Lord, we ask that you be with each family represented. Be with us as we travel to our separate homes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. First order of business is the reading and approval of the previous minutes, meeting minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. We have a motion. Is there a second? We have a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Raise aye. your hand. Whichever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no whole business this time. But uh, we have uh, four items, or five items, five items of uh, new business. And so at this point, I'll open a hearing on RZ190148 from Ms. Bozeman. And I'll ask uh, Justin to give us an overview and recommendation. Justin. Yes, sir. This is a request uh, for rezoning to go from agricultural to rural residential. Uh, parcel ID is 068082004. Um, the proposed use is for single family residential. It's located in the Marble Hill character area. It's approximately four acres. Uh, road access is Four Mile Church Road. Um, this uh, request, the applicant is requesting the single family residential zoning for a potential future sale. It meets the requirements and criteria in a comprehensive plan. Um, and staff would recommend approval of the residential request. Other than that, the additional comments are in addition to this memo, I hereby incorporate the entirety of my office's file and the video recording of the Planning Commission's hearing, including but not limited to all witness testimony, in order this information be made a part of the record and shall be available for the board commissioners to review. If y'all have any other questions, I'd be happy to answer. Them. The applicant here. Yes, ma'am. Would you like to say uh, some words about what you'd like to do? Yeah, you gotta stand up. Just, you don't know how long it is for me to stand up. <laughs> I won't keep you there long. Um, I inherited this property from my brother, and uh, I'd like to, in the future, maybe sell half of it, and got to get rezoned to do that. So that's all there is. Okay. Thank you. Any questions from the board? Do I have a motion? I move. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Are there any further discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed. Okay. Unanimous. Thank you. We will close that hearing. Thank you. And we'll open up RZ190-1949. Kevin, is it Combe? Uh, it's close. It's Coombe. Coombe. Sorry about that. No worries. I've heard it all. I have one of those last names that give people trouble as well. So. Welcome to the club. Hi. Well, Justin, can you give us a recommendation, please? Uh, yes, sir. This is uh, <clears throat> a property that's located off of Hammock Road and Talking Rock. The request is to go from rural residential to agricultural. Parcel ID is 038-012-008. And the uh, character area for this property is the rural development area. It's approximately 23.28 acres. Road access is Evans and Hendrick Road. Um, surrounding properties are rural residential and agricultural. And the applicant's requesting uh, this zoning in order to build a single family residence and also have a horse farm. So it meets the criteria um, and 
and staff wanted to recommend the approval of the agricultural zoning request. Um, other than that, just the standard, uh, in addition to this memo, I hereby incorporate the entirety of my office's video file, office's file and video recording of the Planning Commission's hearing, including but not limited to all of this testimony. In order that this information be made a part of the record and shall be available for the Board of Commissioners to review if y'all have any other questions. Thank you. Mr. Governor, you'd like to tell us about your horse farm. Why not? I've been doing public speaking in a long time. Um, my wife and I, we live in Cherokee County. We planned to move to Pickens and we love it here for what it's worth. Um, it's just a different world up here. Uh, we intended to have this horse farm, or you might argue farmette, uh, is what we like to call it. Uh, and when we bought the property, it was zoned and is zoned rural residential. And unbeknownst to me at the time, I mean, we love the property and we're moving forward with it, but I didn't know that we couldn't clear without this thing called a soil and erosion test. And I did some homework on that and I learned very quickly they're very expensive. And um, we would like to avoid that, honestly, having to go through that endeavor. And I was advised by the county that if we change zoning to ag, we would be exempt from the requirement from the soil and erosion test, which would in turn save us a lot of money. Uh, I don't know if any of you know Brian Johnson, but he's the one that's doing the clearing on the property. The man knows what he's doing. I don't foresee any soil and erosion issues uh, with him doing the work. Uh, secondly, uh, it's my understanding, although I got to do some more homework, if we would change over to ag, we would become eligible for um, conservation status on the property as long as it's over 10 acres, which we're at 23 and change. That's what we would like to do. How many horses are you going to have? Well, we don't know yet, and, uh, and for those of you who are going to ask me, I'm not the horse guy. My wife knows all about the horses. Uh, I'll be doing the maintenance, but uh, she's going to be in charge. Uh, we, I would guess maybe four or five would like to raise some. Any questions from the board? Chairman, may I clarify something for everyone? Yes. Um, <clears throat> What he's talking about is there is a requirement to have the plan submitted to the state, to the Georgia Soil and Water Conservation Commission. Um, they have to be done by a level two permit holder, an engineer, landscape architect, something like that. It's a full set of plans that have to be done. And that's generally designed for keeping the water on the property for residential neighborhoods. He still has, his contractor still has to put all of the best management practices in place, sure. all the silt fencing, hay bales, Seeding and drawing, all that stuff still has to be done. Understood. It's just the engineering portion because it's a single family residence for one person rather than a subdivision is why it, it, it's exempt in agricultural. So, yeah. just, to, just to clarify that for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Any follow up questions from the board? Do I have a motion? I have a motion that we approve. Do you have a motion to approve? Is there a second? Second. Okay. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Unanimous. Good luck. Thank you. Is that to say, if I may ask, do I then have to wait until the 19th person? Um, yes, you do. Yeah, you got to wait until the On paper. Yeah, we just recommend. I see. Okay. They may like what you have to say, and they may not. I understand. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't anticipate any problem, but officially you need to. Okay. That's the only other one. Short distance. Ten days. Understood. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. We'll close that hearing. Okay. We'll open up a new hearing on RZ190150. And we have Suzanne Bozeman. Back here in the back. I don't like <laughs> we don't we don't fight. <laughs> I know, I've just never been a speaker. Uh, so I inherited the property from my mom that she had inherited from her brother. Um hoping to we had put it into act when it was needed to me and we didn't know or think we would be moving forward to try to build possibly my son's wanting to build on the property and possibly myself okay. eventually so we want to go ahead I know that's 
first step to moving forward. So that's where we're at. Yeah. I got things out of order, Kevin. I mean, Justin, I didn't give you a chance to oh, pull around and discuss that. I'm sorry. It's your meeting. Um, this is a. Uh, we'll get you back on track. Yeah. <laughs> this is a property that's located on Four Mile Church. It's across from Harley Trail. Um, the rezoning request is from agricultural to rural residential. Uh, the parcel ID is 068-082. The proposed use is for single family residential. The character area is Marble Hill. It is surrounded by rural residential and agricultural properties. And the applicant is requesting to rezone approximately 14.79 acres from ag to RR. And this is to build homes for her and her relatives as single family residential. It meets the criteria. And the staff recommendation is approval of the rural residential request. Um, the only thing with this um, additionally is the standard comment of in addition to this memo, I hereby incorporate the entirety of my office's file and video recording of the planning commission's hearing, including but not limited to all witness testimony in order that this information be made a part of the record and shall be available for the board of commissioners to review. And if y'all have any questions on it. Ms. Bozeman, we were moving so fast. I just kind of got ahead of myself there. So I'm not going to ask you to repeat everything that you've already said. Oh, I wish you would. Make her speak. <laughs> I improved your public speaking experience. Are there any questions from the board? Do I have a motion? I move. We have a motion, second, and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, raise your right hand. All right. Good to go. Thank you. Thank you. We'll close that hearing and we'll open up a new hearing on RZ190152, Bruce Johnson. And I'll ask Justin to give us an overview and recommendation. This is also a rezoning from agricultural to rural residential. The uh, parcel ID is 049-085-001. It's proposed to go for rural residential for a single family residential use. It's in the Marble Hill character area. And it is surrounded by agricultural and rural residential properties. The request is to rezone approximately five acres uh, on Highway 53 near Delmore Road. Um, applicant is requesting this for a single family residential design for potential home sites. This one also meets the criteria in the comprehensive plan and staff recommends approval of the rural residential request. Other than that, this is the additional comment. In addition to this memo, I hereby incorporate the entire of my office's file and the video recording of the planning commission's hearing, including not limited to all witness testimony. In order this information be made a part of the record and shall be available for the board of commissioners to review. Any more questions? On Thank that? you, Mr. Johnson. Okay. Sure. Would you like to add to what get Justin has just laid out for us? Sure. Um, my wife and I are hoping to build a house on the piece of property that overlooks where we got married. Um, we got married in Big Canoe, and this points towards Big Canoe, and it's dead center between where we work. So I, I believe it's the perfect location for us to. To live. That's our hope. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Any discussion? Questions from the board? Do you have a motion? I want the motion that the application be approved. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, please raise your right hand. Okay, thank you. You got it. Thank you. Of course, we're just a recommendation. <laughs> still got the way. <laughs> I appreciate the recommendation. <laughs> All right. We'll close that hearing and we'll open up the last official business for the day, RZ190153. And I'll ask Justin for his review and recommendation. Justin. Yes, sir. This is a property that's located at 150 Ludville Road. The rezoning request is from rural residential to suburban residential. The parcel ID is 034063. Proposed use is suburban residential for single family. 
It is in the rural development area. It is surrounded completely by rural residential properties. Um, the property is approximately 2.35 acres. And they're requesting this to split the parcel and renovate the properties for single family residential. Um, this piece of property is a little bit unique but, um, in its request, but it is very common for the area. Um, the use at this time is actually a suburban residential use. It's um, two homes on 2.35 acres, which, as you all know, rural residential is 1.5, which is what it's up. So it would have to be a three acre parcel, which it's not. Um, for that reason, the recommendation's a little bit longer on this one. So I'll just read it out. Um, so the, the staff is not able to recommend approval of the request based on the criteria in the comprehensive plan because suburban residential is not a recommended use in that character area. Um, however, the lot size requirements and compliance with the public water requirement that's in chapter 38 and matches suburban residential in 67. Um, we can recommend approval of the request for the partial number of 034-063 that it be rezoned to suburban residential. Um, this is the understanding that it's not appropriate for properties in this character area to be zoned suburban residential. But the actual use of this property right now is suburban residential and to split it they're complying with the code by requesting this rezoning. So are there going to be two houses or three houses? There are two existing houses on this property. The applicant is actually here uh, tonight, but there are two there are two homes on this one piece of property. Mr. Schatz? Yes sir. Welcome. <laughs> I brought something too if you wanted to make it a little bit easier for you if you want to look at it, kind of what we're doing. You got a picture? Uh, yes sir. I picture bought one. Worth a thousand words. <laughs> I'll give each one of you. It is a unique piece of property. Uh, this is our seventh uh, rehab home in the county this year. Um, basically, if you look at uh, 150 Loveville Road was the property that we purchased. Um, it had two homes on the property of 2.35 acres. Uh, the first home on the first picture, uh, we had a valuation of $67,000 on it. We did a complete rehab on this it. This is the actual house? Yes, sir. That's the one we just finished. It uh, went under contract for $270,000. Uh, obviously, we're bringing uh, more tax digest to the county. But on the, if you look on the second page, on the right hand, which we have labeled as Track 2, the acre we're trying to break out, there's actually an existing home there that uh, I did confirm with Justin that we could pull a permit and actually remodel it and still have two homes on the house, on the property. However, my daughter saw that the property and she decided she wanted to build me to build her home on the, the one acre. And I said, well, that's fine. I can do that. And looking at the setbacks and then not meeting kind of current ordinances and things, I decided that, um, well, looking at, I think, Chapter 38 or whatever it was, we only needed an acre with county water to be able to put a home, but there's another chapter that was a conflict. So we bought the property, and I thought I would just tear this one down and put another one in the center of the property that conformed to current setbacks. Obviously a new septic tank. Uh, we did get a perk that was good. Um, I think it's an old gravel system that I wouldn't want to put on her. Um, but basically we're just trying to, to split it and still have two homes that have been there for, I think one of them was in the 20s and one was in the 50s. Uh, pretty simple if you look at it on paper, but obviously a little bit different than what's normal. So, so did you bring your daughter and your grandbaby here to, because you, we might think that they would be home. I'm going to let her ask, <laughs> answer, because I knew that was coming up. She called me at 530 and said, Dad, can I come? I said, it's a public meeting. You can do what you want. Uh, we've had a rough day for some other things, but... Um, she just showed up. Um, I'm glad she did. Um, so she can see the that. process and um, she can get ready to write some checks <laughs> if you if we get that uh, recommendation. Are you going to give her a deal on building that house? For her? Uh, yes, yes. Depends on, <laughs> depends on if she holds the grandkids' ransom or not. <laughs> yeah. They're special. They are. They're very special. Any further discussion? So are we going to have we're going to have uh, county water there? Is that right? Okay. Both houses were already on meters. Yeah. You had something to Yes, sir. I just have to add the uh, additional comment. Okay. 
Sorry. In addition to this memo, I hereby incorporate the entirety of my office's file on the day of the recording of the Planning Commission's hearing, including but not limited to all witness testimony, in order this information be made a part of the record and shall be made available for the Board of Commissioners to review. Gotta get it in there. Open <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, Mr. Schaus, you, you were a candidate for chairman of the commission. Uh, and, yeah, and the it's on the losing end, yes, sir. I noticed on the disclosure form here, you did not give the uh, commission chairman a donation towards this campaign. No, um, unfortunately, I guess I uh, was supporting the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> so, you supporting yourself? Uh, yes, sir. You were. It was all my money. Any discussion, questions from Mr. Schaus? So you're going to tear the old house down, the old yes, woods there? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. He can't have that. Can oh, I know that, but I grew, I grew up on the, on the house across the road from this. That old house was my third grade teacher's oh. house. <laughs> was the old house the original one? The old one? Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, Howard Wood. Where the other one is at now was his was their garden and their very good watermelon patch. Well, <laughs> we're, we are going to tear it down, but we are going to reclaim it. She oh, wants, yeah. that's okay. I, it's, it, so. it probably, need, it, no doubt it needs to be torn down. It's just one of those things that... We didn't tear the other one down, though. <laughs> um, so. Just a little sentimental. So she was your third grade teacher? She was my third grade teacher. You must have liked her. Uh, I Maybe I shouldn't tear it down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this place is haunted. Right? I don't know if that was a sign or what. <laughs> they, were good, they were good neighbors. Yeah, we shared his watermelon. So. <laughs> Any further discussion? <laughs> Questions? Do you have a motion? I'll make a motion. Uh, is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Further discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you, sir. Your daughter will not be homeless. <laughs> <It's all laughs> She's going to take me to dinner now. <laughs> Any board comments? Any public comments? I got one. Yes, sir. Just thank you guys for your time. Running in politics gave me a whole other, you know, as well what goes on and, and the amount of time and sacrifice and research you guys do and, and thank all of you for it not for giving me a recommendation but generally just for the time and stuff you put into the community thank you mr johnson we, we, we try to have a little bit of a good time while we're waiting through some of these things i, I imagine you do <laughs> some are easier than others yes you have a motion to adjourn i'll oh, move Second, all in favor, yes. Yes. Okay, thank you.